I'm gonna raise it up and show you some stuff underneath. This car is using a CDO9 trans with a Toyota Bell housing. And this will show you the space between the oil pan and the rack it is very close, but it should not touch. One point here that you have to move out of the way, it's a power steering line. And it gets kinked right in between the oil pan and the steering rack mount. But you can see it doesn't touch anywhere. Although it is very close everywhere. <laughs> On this side too, got some space. Much And as the car goes down on the ground, this will go back in towards the oil pan. So you have to space it down past the oil pan so it won't go up into it. You can see how close this case is to the car and this makes it a lot easier to get the trans in and out um, with the factory Nissan bell housing you have to hammer it a considerable amount I do think this trans is a great option but Definitely, definitely do not use the factory Nissan Bell housing. Fits a lot nicer with this, and there's no reason not to. You can see that it only uses two of the mounting holes for the transmission, and that's because we cut the third one off of the car just to give us a little extra room around the trans. And you can see we cut out a little bit behind it to give some space. And, uh, the mounting points for the boot are back here.